Hey guys, looks like it's time for a beer. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews, Beer Review 999, guys, one away from the big 1,000. 999 brings us the brewery's five golden rings, Belgian-style golden ale brewed with pineapple juice and spices. The fifth first of our 12 beers of Christmas Saga incorporates sweet cake-like spice into a rich and robust golden ale. Happy Holidays! Well, we're here, almost into May here, and uh, we're doing a Christmas beer. What do you think about that, guys? This is a 11.5% ABV, so I don't think it's going to go bad. What do you think? This uh, this beer, I bought this at Wine Gourmet and paid $14 for this 750 milliliter. High-priced beers. Uh, not a big fan of paying that kind of money for this, but this is a 750, and it's not a 22 ounce bomber or a 12 ouncer, so uh, it's a great big bottle, but still, these are astronomical prices. Wine Gourmet, they're in a uh, strip mall type deal, and they're in a high rent district. Wouldn't surprise me if their rent wasn't three or four thousand dollars a month, guys. That's why they have to charge these ridiculous high prices for these beers, so. Uh, if you can find you a little teeny hole in the wall craft beer store that don't pay a big overhead rent and all that kind of stuff, you're going to get a better price on these kind of beers whether you're going to go to a great big strip mall or a big store that's in a high rent district. I mean, if they're paying big rent, they're going to have to charge big money for their beers. It's common sense. That's the way it goes. So try to find you a little a little teeny craft beer store that, that'll serve you well, guys. And without me rambling all much. Not big into paying these big prices for these beers. I, I mean, even though it's a 750, still, I mean, when you start getting up to $15 for a beer, even though it's a big beer and 11% too, but still, uh, once it gets above $10 for one bottle, I start getting n -n 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 nervous. So, uh, the days of me purchasing these astronomically expensive beers is probably coming to an end. Uh, I'm not going to be a uh, game to, 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 to jumping on the hype bandwagon just because it's the brewery or Stone or Dogfish or, or whoever the hell it may be, uh, Founders, Bells, whoever. They, all of them are getting into, they have certain beers that they hype the hell out of. Hop Slam, uh, 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 what is the one that Dogfish does? Miles Davis, the one they do for Miles Davis. Uh, but, there's so many beers that don't fit, fit up to the hype that goes with it and the price that goes with it. And I'm just expressing what I think about that. So I've almost stopped buying, even from Wine Gourmet, I don't even go over there anymore because they don't want to work with you and, and whatever the price is on the bottle, that's what you're going to pay. So uh, still want to open up my own place, but guys, I told you I, I've been trying to do that for over a year now, and the biggest drawback to that is the ABC license require me to have that store for two months before they'll issue me an ABC license. So basically, I got to enter eat the rent for two months before I can start selling beer, and I ain't going to do that. So uh, until the cabinet business falls off, where I can't make a living doing that, the beer store is probably not going to happen because I can't be in two places at one time. So. That being said, let's get on with this show, guys. This is the Brewery's Golden, Five Golden Rings. Commercial description on this beer, Five Golden Rings is the fifth verse of our 12 Days of Christmas Winter Seasonal Ale Series. This is the only golden ale in the bunch, but it definitely packs a holiday punch. We spiced up this 11.5 ABV ode to winter with cinnamon, allspice, ginger, along with some delicious, sweet, and tangy pineapple. So, let's see what this brings, guys. Bells are strong, pale ale. Availability is limited, brewed once. So that's what this beer is about. Uh, the food pairing, this says general. Aspertif, meat, game, and salmon. The uh, beer can be sold for extended periods. Uh, I've had this one probably four months now, four or five months. And it can be sold for a long time. Uh, the 
glass wires, snifter, tulip, oversized wine glass, chalice. Uh, I like using this uh, Duval glass for these great big beers here, guys. So I don't think there's anything else we need to discuss. And let me see if there's anything else on here that we need to talk about. I don't see anything on the back. It doesn't have a date, but I know this was this past uh, Christmas's beer. So without further ado, let's get it into the glass. 11%. You think it's going to produce a big head? I seriously doubt it. Let's see what happens. We might give us a finger. Hope it ain't the middle finger. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't that look good? Very nice looking beer. Over into the light. Very golden color. I can see. It's got a slight chill haze on it, but I can see the bulb right through it. We got us with that aggressive pour. We got us a good two finger of head on that beer, guys. Let's get a nose on it and see what we got. The first thing I'm getting is the Belgian yeast. Very nice pineapple, grapefruit type smell here. I am getting a little bit of the cloves and the, and the allspice and the ginger in there. The Belgian yeast is the most predominant thing there. I was expecting a large pineapple presence, but not so much on the nose. Probably going to have a bigger pineapple taste. Let's give it a taste and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, more pineapple in the taste. Kind of sweet. A little bit on the syrupy side. Definitely a tart Belgian yeast too. It's got a tartness to it. Big beer. Great big beer. Very well made. I am getting some of the alcohol. But it's not like it's burning my throat up or anything. It's a very decent beer. I'm impressed with this. I mean for 11.5%. It's very well made. It's very well hidden. Probably won't be on the back end. It might be staggering around just a little bit. but Very nice. Very pleasant. Pineapple, grapefruit, ginger, coriander, allspice. Very nice. Very, very nice. A nice winter type beer. And and here we are getting into spring and summer. And that's another reason I wanted to get this out of there. And otherwise, I would have had to keep it till <laughs> next Christmas and, and done it. And they're probably going to do something different. Every year they do something different to this. So next year, maybe the six, what is it, the six maids of milking or well, the 12 days of Christmas. So this is the fifth fifth year they've done this. Uh, I guess next year will be the sixth, uh, the sixth installment of this beer. So, uh, very tasty. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. I'm going to share the other half of this bottle with the other half and see what she thinks of it. And we'll come back and do the final chug. I know Barry's anxious to see that 1,000 beer review. It's coming up tomorrow. World class beer. I hope it lives up to its reputation. We'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one, guys. Stick around. All right, guys. I'm back. got just a little left here. This is a this is a very decent beer. Uh, a lot of nice qualities of this, but it, nothing really to write home about. The, the brewery does some really great stuff, but this now that it's warmed up, it's a little on the boozier side. Of course, eleven and a half percent, but it is really predominant now the booziness in this one. But I enjoyed this. Uh, don't think it's a $14 beer. I mean, it. I know it costs a lot to make these kind of beers because I brew myself and I know what it takes to, to brew this type of beer and for it to be tasty and not overbearing with the alcohol with 11.5%. But even though this has been uh, aged for several months now, the alcohol is still there. Maybe this needs to go for a year, maybe two at 11.5% to, to mellow out this a little bit, guys. So. It's, it's, it's a very tasty beer, very decent. Glad I got to try it, but I don't think I would buy it again. Uh, just because of the booziness and the price. And like I said, when I give you a little intro earlier, 
the price is determined by where you buy it and what their overhead is, so, or whether they're trying to gouge you or not. So, that being said, final chug, guys. Grapefruit, coriander, ginger, alcohol, now that it's warmed up, but decent. Uh, about an A beer as far as I'm concerned, guys, and that's why I'm going to grade it accordingly. Uh, I'm going to give this a 6, which is a B, not even a B plus. Uh, it's decent. It's okay. Not blowing my hair back or my socks off. It was okay. It was okay. Uh... Beer Advocate has 81, which is in a good range. And uh, Rate Beer has 86 overall and 67 in the style. So not impressive numbers here. So I'm not alone in what I'm saying here. This is an okay beer, but nothing extraordinary. So if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one, guys. Maybe this one should have been cellared for a little while longer. Maybe another year or two. But uh, a couple of tomorrow's beers are going to be better. 1,000 coming tomorrow! That beer's not going to have a label on it. Maybe that'll give y'all a hint of what it's going to be. I've had this beer almost two years. So, uh, stop in tomorrow see what that number 1,000 is going to be. If, uh, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one, guys. Whether you liked it, didn't like it, loved it, best thing you ever had, couldn't stand it. Uh, it was okay. It was a B beer as far as I'm concerned. Not something I would seek out at this price again. So, with that being said, hit the like button if you like it. Better join me tomorrow. Number 1,000. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.